Hello everyone, welcome back to the another new tutorial. And today in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can achieve the cat eye defocus in Nuke. We have a few gizmos that can do that. So let's take a look at the process of doing the cat eye look. So all right, you can see on my screen, I have this full comp and let me just quickly show you the defocus one. So this is the defocus image. And if you zoom in, so you can see this is the bokeh and you can see the bokeh shape is like this, something like this, right? It's something like this. So it's not anamorphic. It is anamorphic, but it's like curve in this edges. And if you pay attention to the edges, you can see it's going round shape like this. So if I uh, just draw, so the defocus is going like this way on the other side also basically is rounding. So let me just show you how I achieve that look for that. Uh, we have a few options here. So there is one more. Uh, there is one option called the magic defocus. Uh, this one also can achieve. There is a tab called, you know, uh, enable non uniform bokeh. And there is one more uh, called the cat eye defocus. CF cat ID focus. So in this uh, comp, I use this one. This is very interesting one. If I just open, this is the tool set. So we have this uh, ZD focus. It's using a, D a ZD focus. Uh, the way this tool is built is very clever. I mean, it's very, very impressive because here we have that filter option. And let me just uh, go back and just preview the filter shape so you can see. So if you enable this grid and let me just add a filter bokeh builders just for now so you can see that filter if i just zoom in here you can see in the corner we see this shape right but as we go closer closer to the center of the frame uh the bokeh is getting round and let me just disable i hope you guys can see it so here we have very uh angular shape and like cat eye but as you go in the center all these shapes are becoming round okay so that is the whole idea of this one so in your image also in this corner you will see this round bokeh shape and as you go in the center it will become a circle shape this is the like reference here you can clearly see the cat eye look in the edges uh, you will see this kind of shape but as you go in the center it become a round we have this you know uh, solely defocus so this is what we did in this comp. Let me just quickly show you the before and after. Uh, this is the whole comp and this is the actual render and this is what I did. So if you want to see the whole process, how I did this. So I have a full six hours long step by step process of this entire comp structure. If you want to see that, go to my Patreon. It's available there and the project file also I'm going to provide, uh, but not now because in this comp, I want to show you a lot of things what I did to you know make this comp look good. We can see the texture on the head this uh, glass and this light and this laser and a lot of lot of uh, calm stuff i want to show you in this one but i will do step by step so this is the first step i mean in this one i just want to show you the uh, defocus cat eye look how you can achieve that so let's focus on that first then in the next tutorial i will try to you know explain the different section like how i add the texture and in the next part i will uh, tell you how i add this uh, laser and this nice interactive light so if I compare uh, with this raw render, you can see how it's look. So see the interaction light is looking very good. Let's go to the uh, defocus. So here I have this uh, background precomp and now I'm using this cat eye uh, defocus here. All right. Uh, this is the filter shape uh, I'm applying for the image. Let's use a noise for now just to show you the process. So I'm connecting this noise to here. I'm just uh, making it smaller contrast here and more brighter so we have more values than this let's add create and push this even more now let's view here and here you can see now we have this solely defocus like cat eye defocus you can see it's very very good and let's view that great hopefully you can see it better let me just increase this now uh, we can easily see the bokeh filter shapes so this is exactly what is happening uh, inside this tool. Let me just increase the softness. So this is exactly what happened, guys. You can see in the edges we have this uh, this kind of shape, but as we go closer, closer, closer to the center, we can see this round shape. So that is the cat eye uh, defocus process. So if I just disable the grid, and now you can see this noise. So this is the process, and how is doing? It's using the subframes method. It's really amazing. It's a completely uh, different world using a subframes in Nuke. 
I'm planning to uh, do a lot of tutorials about subframing in future. If you are interested, uh, please let me know in the comment. I will make a lot of videos about subframings. For now, uh, this is cat eye. Just like I said, there is one more. It's called the magic defocus. So if I use this one also, let's connect image to image, filter to filter. This will also give you the same look, but little different. It's using the same logic to open this one. Inside, it is also using the subframe method. You can see they both are little different. The results are same. See, you get a cat eye look, but little different one. So it's up to you which one you want to use. This is the process using the cat eye defocus. So in my comp, what I have here, I just have this background with the depth pass right so this is the uh, full depth pass you can see then i just plug this my proper uh, depth pass i selected here my depth pass and just uh, because this is just normal uh, zd focus you can just increase the value so for now if i just increase so i added a 50 value and maximum also is 50 but uh, one thing you guys need to remember this node is very heavy because uh, i mean as i said this is using a subframes method to use to apply the whole cat eye look and now if i zoom in now you clearly see this cat eye look see this see the bokeh and the image is uh, rounding itself like this if you pay attention this image is rounding so in here you can see this bokeh is rounded here in this corner but as you go in the center we see the circular shapes right in the bottom also you can see this angle i mean the cat eye look this is pretty good here you can see it feel like a motion blur but this is actual the cat eye look and if i compare with the normal one let's use the normal zd focus then you can clearly see the difference let's connect this one connect this one also let's go to the zd focus use the image image input and do the same 50 now we have the same values and let me just do that also uh what you can i can use a depth pass here and is there any uh, distance yeah focal distance is 25 let's add focal distance is 20. this is a normal defocus with the filter shape and this is the cat eye you can clearly see the difference so this is normal uh, bokeh with the round shape you get a round bokeh here right everywhere and uh, this is with the cat eye look so big difference in the bokeh and how the image is processed you can see how it's uh, doing this uh, stretching and all those things so this is like totally you know artistic choice but there are a lot of cameras there are a lot of lenses that can do that especially in the anamorphic so this is the anamorphic but with the cat eye look so there are some lenses that can do that in the in the comp we are just uh, simulating that look this is the look you can get so this is the difference guys uh, with this uh, cat eye and normal dd focus but uh, i really like uh, this cat eye uh, defocus the cfx cf cat eyes uh, defocus i will put the link where you can uh, download this one and you can use in your comp it's a really really uh, amazing tool uh, for this comp i put it the value uh, only 10 because if i increase more it will look miniature you have to very careful about how you how you are using defocus in the shot but you can see this is uh, this shot took me uh, six hours to form this from here to here and there are a lot of good things going on in this shot as i said i will make a separate video i will explain each part separately in a separate separate uh, tutorial stay tuned for that and i think uh, this is it guys so use uh, this cat eye defocus want uh, this cat eye look the swirly cat eye look so this is it guys thank you so much for watching and as i said and as i said we will see you in a very next tutorial happy comping